Trendon Wadford, who's out of Birmingham, Alabama, a big get for LSU last summer as he committed to the Tigers. Bill Armstrong, lead recruiter there, um, he announced over the weekend with a, uh, a very heartfelt message on his social media thanking uh, God for allowing him to be in this position, talking about the world changing to COVID-19, giving thanks to LSU and his time in Baton Rouge, and talking about his next decision, that he wants to see what's next and possibly in the NBA for Watford, who was one of the, uh, the dominant players coming out of high school and spent his freshman season in Baton Rouge, as we, uh, as we said, uh, averaging 13 points and, uh, and eight rebounds in 18 SEC games. Uh, Trenton, thank you for the time. Good morning, man. No doubt. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for having me. Absolutely, man. Um, crazy season, the way it ended. Um, to just take me through the experience of your one year of college basketball. Um, you know, definitely, definitely looking, looking back, I definitely did not think it was going to end like this, mm-hmm. you know, but, um, you know, it was, it was, a good, it was a good season, you know, all my teammates, you know, they're my guys. And, um, you know, we just had, we had, I had a fun year, had a fun year with those guys. A lot of your teammates have, have gone through this process, uh, whether it's Emmett Williams, Darius Days, uh, even Skylar Mays. Uh, have gone out, worked out for the NBA, and then decided to come back to school. Is that an option for you, or are you declaring for the NBA draft wholeheartedly? Oh uh, yes, I'm declaring, but I haven't, you know, I haven't, I haven't signed with the agent yet. So you know, that option is still there. But um, you know, I'm just, I'm basically, you know, just testing the waters and just, you know, just trying to go through the process. What type of information are you getting about this this process? I mean, have you gotten any feedback on? on the draft, whether there'll be workouts, where the workouts will be held, how will you work out for these teams? Have you gotten any of that type of information going into the process? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm hearing, you know, if they if they do move the draft back to August, then there, there will most likely be a, uh, you know, a process with workouts, team meetings, and such. So, you know, if they do do that, then it probably will be a process. And if they don't, then, it, you know, it, it probably won't. If they keep it in June, then it probably won't. You know, so, that's just what I'm hearing. So it's so odd, Trenton, because y'all were thrown into limbo there at the SEC term and all of a sudden season's over. Uh, then everything starts to shut down. And then uh, and, and, and then here you are. You're kind of in limbo now. So as, as you get ready for this evaluation process that isn't even set in stone yet, what are you doing to get yourself ready to try to make that jump to the NBA? Well, uh, right now, you know, it's not much I can do. I can't really get to the gym. I'm, I'm, I'm still in Baton Rouge right now, so I can't really, you know, I can't really get in the gym. So, you know, main thing I'm just trying to do is just stay in shape. Um, guys like me, me, Javante, Scott are still here. So, you know, we just try to get, we just try to stay in shape by running in the morning and you know, just trying to do, just trying to do in-home workouts that we can do just to keep our body, you can keep our body looking good. And, and, and so when you think about making that jump to the NBA and then you think about your game and how this last season went, uh, wh- where do you feel you'll be able to make that jump quickest? And then what are the areas that you still think that you need to work on more? Uh, you know, obviously, you know, from making the jump to the NBA as a, as a freshman, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not going to be easy. You know, and I know that. So, you know, this is going to take a lot of hard work you know, on my game, on my body, you know, on my eating habits. So, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just looking forward to that. Your brother was a superstar in Indiana. He's gone through this process. Um, how, how do you how do you reference him? How does he help you through throughout this uh, this next couple of months? Well, he helps me tremendously. Uh, he just tells me about it. You know, just tells me about how the whole draft process is, and you know, just you know, just things I can do to help myself. Uh, take me back to your recruiting, Trent. Everybody in America wanted you. Um, LSU really felt good because of the relationship they had embedded with a guy like Bill Armstrong, who's known your family. For, for such a long time from the Birmingham uh, from the Birmingham area. Um, LSU may not have been the most popular school at the time when you chose them. I know that meant a lot to the staff, but just take me through the process of, of how you landed in Baton Rouge. Um, you know, I took a few visits down here, and, you know, I just had a strong relationship with the coaches. And I would say that, you know, that was the biggest thing. I just felt like, you know, down here in LSU, that was just family. And um, just knowing guys like Devon State and Emmett, um, Darius, you know, just before I get, just before I got on campus, you know, they basically they was just here. You know, I had already knew them in high school, so you know, it was easy decision for me, and you know, definitely one of the best decisions I've ever made. So, did did you get out of this one year of college basketball? Did you did you get in return and what you were hoping to get out of it? The improvement in your game? Oh uh, yes, I would say I did. You know, definitely. You know, it was up and downs as a freshman. You know, pretty much as any freshman would have. So. 
you know, it was definitely, you know, it was definitely up and down. And I, you know, I just, it was just a great year. And, um, you know, unfortunately, it just had to end like this. Yeah, it sucks, man, because I think, I think y'all were set up to do some special things. Talking to Trenton Wofford here on Off the Bench, 104.500 with the 94.7 ESPN. Uh, Trent, I'm going to ask you a bit of a tough question here. But um, earlier in the show, we highlighted a lot of guys from LSU that have made it to the NBA uh, being undrafted, maybe maybe taking more circuitous paths to the NBA. Um, if you go through this process and the idea is that you won't be drafted, I mean, you get a shot, but that you won't be drafted, what, what, do, you, what do you think you would do? Like, what decision would you make? Um, you know, I'm not sure yet. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I know, I know all the details before before the deadline that I that, that when college prospects have to return and you know, I just talk it over with my family, talk it over with my brother and um, you know, I know I know we'll make the best make the best decision for me. Who do you look up to? What game do you try to model after? Oh, I watch I watch a lot of guys. Um I watch a lot of guys. I would say K D, um, Ben Simmons game, um I just watch a lot I watch a lot of guys who, you know, just versatile fours, just versatile fours like that. What's he What's the off seasons like at LSU? The summer ball at LSU because we have a bracket right now on our uh, on our Twitter account on our off the bench Twitter account, kind of debating the sixteen best LSU basketball players of all time. And when you look around, man, I mean LSU is known as a football school, but they pump mm-hmm. out some basketball products. Um, what, what's the off season run like with guys like Garrett Temple and Brandon Bass and Tyrus Tom? All those guys still being around. Um. You know, just last just last summer just itself. You know, there was a lot of we had we had a few you know had a few pickup games with those guys, and you know, just like you said, it's definitely you know talented guys that come through LSU, and you know that's sixteen. That's that's, that's that's I'm pretty sure that's a you know solid sixteen a solid sixteen on that list right there. So what's next for you, man? Um, are are, are you still in school? Oh, yes, I am. I'm still in school, and I'm still in Baton Rouge right now. So you'll stay in school, and, and you'll continue, I guess, to just try and Monitor. find creative ways to, yeah. to stay in shape. But no basketball, no hoop? You can't put any any shots up? Um, You know, I've, I've, unfortunately, I've been in a few gyms, and I got kicked out already. So. Wow. Uh, yeah, but not, not even Chris Middleton. I was reading this today. Chris Middleton of the Bucks just signed a huge contract. He doesn't even have a hoop at his house. And so, yeah. and he was talking about it. He just he can't shoot. He just can't yeah, shoot right can't, now. We, we can't really do anything. Um, so I'm, you know, just trying to stay in shape, running every day. Trenton, it was uh, it was cool to watch you play your, awesome. your freshman season, man. Uh, I know that uh, with your brother and your family and the coaching staff from LSU around you, that you will make the best decision for your future. Uh, if it's not coming back to LSU, it was awesome watching you play. And best of luck if it's coming back to LSU. Best of luck next season, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank y'all for having. Me. Thanks so much, Trenton.